by a show of hands, how many people believe all methods of execution should be legal? Mm. A pie. Okay. Illegal or legal? legal? Should be legal. All methods of execution should be legal. Okay, hands down. How many of you guys actually know what all the methods are? No? Okay. So, there are five legal methods of execution here in the U.S. and they are hanging, electrocution, lethal gas, lethal injection, and firing squad. So these are all kind of old. These have been around for a long time and that conflicts with our ethics now. So in the Constitution, I'm sure we've all heard of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as being part of our unalienable rights. So this goes to our values as a Christian nation, and even if we're not Christian, just our values in general as people. So I feel that having all these different kinds of methods is kind of contradictory to that statement because they are not exactly giving us our right to life and a lot of people who argue for things like abortion bring up life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness but the death penalty kind of contradicts that. So an example that I have that is very close to me and personal to me is that I had a baby cousin who was murdered and his murderer was actually his stepdad. That man is on death row and he has been on death row for about five years now. And at first, you know, the family is very hurt, the family is angry at this man and they want him to suffer and to die. But over time, I feel that people affected by these criminals that you know, earn the death penalty, realize that they don't really want this person to suffer, they just want their life to be terminated, that way they can never inflict this type of pain on another person. And I feel that it's just very, it makes us look bad as a people to want someone to suffer like that, because you've already suffered yourself, so why inflict that pain again? I feel that having these values instilled within not just our constitution but us as people is very important and that we should always look back to that instead of kind of disregarding, oh I'm hurt right now, I want to hurt this person. So John Evans 1983 is a case, um, I forgot what state it was in, but this man was basically electrocuted and it went wrong and they kept electrocuting him. It took him 14 minutes to die. I don't remember what his crime was, but it involved, you know, killing someone. That's typically what the death penalty, that's how you earn it. But 14 minutes to die is a really long time and that's very cruel. And that also goes towards also some, something else mentioned in the Constitution. Cruel and unusual punishment is not allowed. That seems very cruel and unusual if you ask me to continuously electrocute someone until they die because it goes wrong just keep pressing that button so less than eight percent of lethal injections go wrong so i know ten percent is kind of a large number but because of technical technical technological advances the um, number has been able to go down but at the same time there is no way to guarantee that every single time it'll go right. And you can't do this with any kind of... There is always room for human error, basically. So it has lowered, which is a good thing, but like I said, a lot of people argue that it can go wrong. Well, anything can go wrong. So going back to that whole idea of having our values, um, being set strong, like set in stone. 65% of the population believes death penalty, the death penalty should exist, but no one talks about the methods that should be allowed. People just kind of think, oh, death is the ultimate goal. Then why is it that we don't talk about, um, why is it that we don't talk about 
how they should be executed. So people who are on death row spend a really long time on death row. Like that's just, it's, it costs a lot to keep someone alive for that long and if the ultimate goal is death, then they're just taking too long to kill this person. I know that sounds like kind of morbid, but it's true. The ultimate goal of the death penalty is to end a person's life. There is no need for suffering. The goal is death, so just put them to death. So there are two sides, you know, there's the victims that are affected by these criminals and there's also the criminals and their family. Like I said earlier, the death penalty, people affected by this, like those feelings splatter on both sides. And to have someone die in a degrading way, obviously someone died, the victim died, and then having the criminal die in a degrading way as well, it just, there's, there's justice in the sense that the person's being put to death, but there's just, there's a lot of backlash from that. So like I said earlier, the ultimate goal is to end the person's life. Um, cruel and unusual punishment will not be inflicted unless you know they earn it like killing someone, which is valid, but again, no one mentions how they should be killed. And I think that we should sign a petition to make lethal injection the primary and only method on paper. As of right now, it is gas, mm -hmm. gas and lethal injection. Lethal injection is the only, um, is the primary method, but gas is still there. And that just kind of doesn't make sense because we have a history of like gas being very wrong, so why would we use it? So it should be abolished and lethal injection should be the only method.